Hi guys! Okay, so what have we got for you today? Well, I'll tell you what we've got is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. Um, what we've got is a Swan Maybe Todd self filler. This particular model is the SM185. And one thing that you'll notice straight away, it comes in this very sought after snakeskin pattern. The colour of this gorgeous pen is ruby so it's a ruby snakeskin swan cell filler fountain pen the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 124 millimeters capped around the barrel approximately 10 millimeters in diameter now the SM185 which is this ruby coloured fountain pen I'm dating it from the regions of around about the 1930s maybe even 1940s now I've actually shown you another similar pen the SM184 which was a green colour so if you're interested in that you'll have to stroll quite a far far back to the video and go and have a look at that if you're interested but let's concentrate on this one so again the ruby um, snake skin pattern the trim on this pen all it has is well you'll notice it doesn't have any cap band as such it just has this chrome or nickel clip to the top there and you can see it's the standard ball clip which is pretty standard for the swan pens and if we show you to the top there again the very recognizable little swan logo to the top of the clip and then if we take you to the top of the cap, as with these pens, you can see it's got this, um, the black top with the white inlaid swan to the very top there. And that's sort of complemented the end of the barrel. You can see it's got this black, uh, black section to the end of the barrel. This one is a lever fill, which you may or may not have noticed. Now, if I show you the lever there, you can see it's got this lovely black lever. Now, I believe the, the lever is made out of hard rubber or, or vulcanite. If we actually sort of just open it, you may be able to see it better there. So they're actually, I actually quite like these levers here because it's a very sturdy one compared with some of the, well, the sort of the flimsier levers. But again, made out of this sort of black, I believe to be vulcanite hard rubber. So, as we said, it's a lever fill fountain pen. The imprint, if I can find it while I'm actually talking to you over the barrel, because of the colour, may be slightly difficult for you to see, but it actually reads Swan Cell Filler. It's got maybe Todd underneath there, and then made in England. I'm hoping you can actually see that and then on these pens to the bottom of the barrel again it may be a bit difficult because just part of it is is a little bit worn the sm is actually worn a little bit but you hopefully you can make out that it says 100-85 okay so you hopefully you can actually see that there so that's the model number to the end of the barrel all in all gorgeous pen fully restored it it had a couple of little issues which we've ironed out and we've repaired but all in all superb example beautiful color and a very sought after pen let's unscrew the the cap like so let's show you a few different angles absolutely gorgeous and a beautiful beautiful color as well let's take you up to the section there you can see very standard swan section with this sort of um ridge to the top there near the near the nib if we take you to the nib there keep it nice and still what you may notice it's a swan it's the number one well number one swan nib by maybe todd and company and then you can't see it's in the section but it says made in england let's give you a sideways view and if we turn it over you can see it's got the 
standard swan comb feed to the back of uh, to the back of the nib and you may notice there it actually says swan on the back of the feed as well again all in all beautiful beautiful pen nice and comfortable to hold well yes I know let's show you how it writes so let's bring on some ink let's bring on some some paper and what we do is dip the nib into the ink let's open the lever open the lever you can't see it but I can actually see it over the camera there's lots of bubbling going on which is exactly what we want to see let's give the nib a little wipe and let's see how the pen writes as I say we've put a new sack in it and everything so this is the first time it's uh, it's actually been tested so what we have is a a swan it's a what they term as a self filler and the model number as we said is 100 dash 85 we're dating it from around about 1930s maybe 1940s as with these nibs lovely lovely writer and if I put a little bit of pressure on I can get a little bit of variation in the line so let's do a figure of eight with a, a bit of pressure on the downward stroke. There we go. So as you can see, there's a writing sample for you. So it's got a flexi nib. As you can see with the downward stroke, we're getting a bit of variation in the line. So again, depending on your writing style, well, as I say, a nice flexi nib. As you can see there, a little bit of variation in the line, which makes it very attractive. So let's screw the cap back on. And there we have it. An absolutely gorgeous ruby. Let's keep it nice and still, show you a close-up of the colour. How that actually shows on the video, in sort of bright light, in real light, it's absolutely beautiful colour. But it's what they term as the ruby. And you can see the snake skin pattern's got these black black lines or black veins as well. All in all, well, I know I'm going to repeat myself, but a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. So let's leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen. As always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you, don't be shy, leave a comment down below. But for now... I'll just say, bye-bye now.